I have the sense of being a spiritual person. But is this sense connected to anything real outside my head? Do I share anything in common with others who say that they too believe? I call myself a Christian, but I wrestle with what that means. With all the doctrines and beliefs and arguments out there, with all the different churches, denominations, and different ways of doing things we see all around us, is there any actual thing we can point at and say, that's it, there it is, that's the church? Is there some common root that connects us all together? That ties what we experience in our lives to all the churches and generations of Christians that came before us and what they believed and how they lived? And how do we share this faith with those who come after? What matters most? If you boil it all down, what is at the heart of Christianity? What's the main thing? What is the story, the center of the story? Good news is what comes to you from outside. It's not what you figure out for yourself. It's what you didn't know already about the world. This good news gives me hope, gives me meaning, gives me purpose. The early church had experienced Jesus. He had broken into their lives and changed them. So they knew that his story and what he had actually done was far more important than metaphysical speculations. It was the blunt historical fact of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, this event in time, that they believed had changed everything, had changed the story of the world. They were waging all their chips on the gamble that this actually happened, that this story was true to them. It was the best news a person could ever hear. But how to transfer this story to others? How to get the good news out? If it could be abbreviated, folded up, and packed down, they needed a way to strip the story down to its essentials, to brief phrases like crib notes that could then spark their memory. If it could be abbreviated, folded up, and packed down, then it could be carried over long distances and times. It could then be unpacked, unfolded, and set up wherever you found yourself. And be unpacked and fleshed out into the full story. Once unpacked in the middle of life, it could become a shelter, a refuge, that allowed you to be at home in the world wherever you found yourself wandering. As for me, I have found that it gives me a vantage point from which to see and understand the world around me. When I unpack this story, when I retell it to you and you retell it to me, we participate in the story itself. We are declaring to ourselves and each other that this thing we carry is actually the very story in which we live. This is how the story begins. I would put it this way. This is how it goes. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I trust God who sustains all things at this very moment and yet knows me by name and loves me like a parent loves a child. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God above us, God beside us, God within us. I believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God above us, God beside us, God within us. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. I trust Jesus, who was God, breaking into space and time, fully God, fully human. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He conquered sin, death, and the evil one. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. Our judge finds us guilty, then steps down and pays the fine himself, because he loves us. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I trust the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who is weaving us together as the community known as the Church. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. I had dug a hole so deep, I couldn't get out of it. I had built up a debt I couldn't possibly pay. Jesus rescued me from that. I believe in the resurrection, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. I know God drew my body from the dust once, and He is going to do it again at the end of days. The forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 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 This outline of the story of the world, known as the Apostles' Creed, impacts the way I see the Bible and the way I see myself. It keeps the revelation of Jesus, the Son of God, as the center of the story. It tells me there is an author to the story of the cosmos, and that I am a part of that story. I belong. When I am full of doubts and questions about so many issues, when things get fuzzy around the edges, this is the heart that I can hold on to. And on days when I can't even do that, I can still be lifted up by hearing those around me declare it as their own creed. We take turns supporting each other. Because God is faithful on both good days and bad days, I am still a part of the communion of saints. I belong to that community of people from every tribe and nation over the last 2,000 years who have dared to make this story their own.